Here's more advice on confidence and how to develop confidence. Uh, the main way to develop confidence is to become better and get more skilled. You know, w at some point in time, you were nervous about a spelling test. But hopefully when you get to be, you know, in high school and college, you're not nervous anymore because you know how to spell the words, right? Same with math. You know, if I had to do a, um, a uh, two plus two type of a math test today, I would not be nervous. But if I had to do geometry or calculus, I would be very nervous because I'm not skilled in those areas. I would need a lot of um, work and relearning. So sometimes kids aren't confident, but when you look at them, you're like, they don't have the skills. They really have a very good reason not to be confident. They, they should be nervous when they go into these tournaments that they're trying to enter because their skill level isn't there yet. And that doesn't mean it will always be that way, but they have to study just like you study for the, um, for the math test. So a lot, of, a lot of the times as you get better, you will start to pin or tech fall or major kids that once used to beat you. I just talked to a wrestling dad today and they've been coming for about eight months now. And then some of our, uh, some other kids came from another town who just started in our rooms and they just got there probably two, three weeks ago. And he said, I got to see the improvement that my son has made over the past six or seven months, eight months, um, because he got to wrestle those two kids, their, their cousins. And he got pinned by one last year, and the other one um, had beaten him. And it wasn't really a very close match. And so now he said, you know, I told my son, you really don't even need to practice with those kids and practice anymore because they're not going to push you. You need to go with these other kids. So last year, if he had to wrestle these two, one of these two cousins, he would not have been confident because he probably knew he couldn't beat them because the skills weren't there. Now he's not even going to practice with those kids at practice, uh, which I'll probably make him anyway. But, um, you know, it's always good to mix up the workout room. But the kid on the way home was talking his dad's ear off because he's excited, right? He got better. So a lot of confidence is attached to skill. So if you're saying, I need to, my son or daughter needs more confidence or I need to work on my confidence, and you say, just believe in yourself, that's a statement. You know, I can believe that I can bench press 300 pounds, but there's no way I'm going to do it. So just believing in yourself, that's just a, a self-help sort of a statement that, you know, we read on Twitter or whatever. But really, you have to have the skills. You can believe all you want that you're going to beat, uh, you know, the uh, Zane Rutherford, but unless you have the skills to do it, it's not going to happen. So it all comes down, boils down to skills. So how do you get more uh, skilled in wrestling if maybe you're newer and you don't really have a plan besides just what we call random moves followed by recreational drill time? That's generally what we get sometimes where you want to be have a system in place. You know, what we like to use the word, the phrase drill routines. Drill routines win. That's it. Drill routines win. So you want to get a system of drill routines for your athletes and you want to put them through the paces of these drill routines and slowly but surely the confidence will rise and they get better and better then pretty soon they have to start reaching out and trying to find better competition because a competition in their town or, or, or city isn't good enough anymore and then we develop more skills and uh, it's, uh, it's just a great catalyst uh, technique is. So if you're struggling with confidence, I think maybe the starting point for you could be get some a set of drill routines from all the common positions in wrestling. There's no need to, to, to practice a counter to a counter to a counter to a Russian two-on-one. That's a waste of time. Look in the positions you're in a lot. Get a couple of techniques from there. Create drill routines, which, you know, if you're familiar with PerlerWrestling.com, you know what that that's what, what we're into. And from there, the confidence will soar. So good luck to everyone. Uh, subscribe. We have more videos coming. And uh, good luck to everyone.